I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by... Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? Yep. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle. Granted, anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eye's so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right! Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. seen such an eye. Behold the power of the elixir. Looked out of the sky. Hey, you think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? Watch out! He's got a gun! Who the hell do you think you are? Marvelous shot, dear boy. The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? Have you thought any more about our plan to get inside Fort Mercer? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Are we ready, then? Uh, nearly, sir. Very nearly, sir. I just need some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse I here. won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make Look. you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I'll Look. put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Don't be like that. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. I don't rightly get you. We can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Yeah. like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa, hoo -hoo. Ah, That's quite a stench. Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. Uh, My name's Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What happened? What happened? My partner. He stole half my map. Moses for I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Moses? 
I've got a visitor. Oh my god, Seth. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisty little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah. Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up, ah. piece by piece! <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide ah. man's flesh. Ain't ah. never cut into a live ah. one before. <laughs> Uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. At Fort Mercer? Yes. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. <laughs> John. Marshal. Gentlemen. <clears throat> uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. OK. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. My good men, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. This miraculous elixir can Keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? my picture. Fucking dang pig. Them cocksucking some bitches escaped the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. Bill Williams! 
Listen! Coming for you, Bill. It's over. It ain't over till it's over. of this very long, long tunnel. <laughs> what the goddamn hell is this? <laughs> 